So Invicta coming out with this model the way that they did, um, the design that it has, I think they did a great job. Um, if you remember the previous Pearl Diver, it's got Invicta written all over it. It's got it slabbed on the side. It's got it on the seconds hand, on the, everywhere, it's on, on the clasp. You, there's Invicta like 10 times on there. This watch has a much cleaner look. Invicta on the dial, Invicta on the clasp. It's got a signed crown. Much more minimal, much more clean. So just doing that, I think they've done a great job. The gilt dial with the gilt hands. Again, like I said, this watch, man, it looks, I think it gives it a smaller look and a little bit more of a classic look. So with that classic look, I think that's what really does it. And the case, all brushed case, with those, uh, with those small beveled polished edges, I think it just looks looks really clean when it hits the light. Certain ways, really really clean. And the bezel on this watch is actually really well done. Invicta actually makes pretty good bezels. If you guys have never had an Invicta, let me try this bezel for you guys one time. This watch has almost no back play on the bezel. They're, they're tight bezels, they sound good, they feel good. Clicky, very good. And it's got a flat aluminum bezel insert. The one thing that I would change for sure is get rid of the mineral crystal and upgrade to sapphire crystal. That right there, that's really like, that would set it off for sure. So this watch is not all good. There are some, some downsides for a watch like this. Well, this watch, the price, um, if you get any other colorway, which would be like a bezel would be black and green or black and red or black and orange. I know they have a few different ones. I think they have black and blue as well. Those happen to be, usually they're cheaper. They're about a hundred bucks, but this one, um, I picked it up on eBay. It was about a hundred and I think it was 139, give or take. With that price, you can find some watches that come with sapphire, that come with a few more, um, a few more specked out, you know, type of things. For example, this watch has hollow end links and a press clasp, and the links, the links are solid and they have push pins. Some watches you can get. For example, like a Pagani design, they have solid end links, a milled clasp, and screwed links. So those you can get around the same price, between like 90 and 120, 130 dollars. So, oh, you also get the sapphire crystal with those as well. So it depends on, you know, there's, you got options and you have you know, what's more important to you? Do you want a certain name on the dial or do you want certain specs? But in that, in this price range of around, you know, $100, $200 watches, there's a lot of variation. Yeah. This watch also does come with a Seiko NH35, which for sure, we know is a great movement, workhorse, solid. You know, if this movement does happen to fail, then it's not worth getting it service. It's easier to just buy another one and plop it in. So there's an upside there for sure. All in all, this watch really grew on me. It's 40 millimeter case, vintage design, nice loom, nice case. You know, I, I look past I look past the the minor the cheaper materials in some cases, for example, in the in the bracelet. But besides that, I think they put all the money into uh, into the case, into the bezel, into the dial, and into the movement. Because and this watch is is nice for the money. 
I would totally recommend it at around $130 or so. If you haven't tried it out, check one out. Much cleaner than a pro diver, than the original pro divers that they were coming out with that looked like Submariners. So, check it out. If you have any questions, hit me up. Leave me a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Chris with Lifestyle of the Ambitious. Peace.